What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and what we just did was we finished up Journey 4. Now remember, a lot of you guys have been asking like, yo, I can't find Journey 3. What's going on with that? Well, that's simply just the journey with the diamonds. I showed it to you guys in the video, but it just goes to show a lot of you guys don't really watch what's going on in the video. You just... <laughs> You just assume that everything is going to be like, you know, numbered and EA did not do it like that. So that caused the problem. Um, I saw in the comment sections uh, that a lot of people were trying to help you guys out and point you in the right direction and let you guys know what's going on. But I did show you guys that it was, um, you know, pretty much you have to go with the, th it's like the theme diamonds version of the journey or whatever. Uh, that's what it was. So. What we're going to do right now is after they give us everything, we got our journey for completion token. I'm going to show you guys again. That way you guys understand uh, thoroughly because obviously, you know, some of you guys missed it and we're going to go over that right now. So pretty much that's journey four. journey three is this one. It's just journey with the diamonds. All right. So that's pretty much what it is. So if you're looking for it to have a three, it won't. Um, this one so it shows it as part two and obviously this shows as part one So for those of you guys that didn't even watch the last video and just watching this video now seeing how you were going to obtain your Auctionable golden ticket shout out to all the guys that respectively came into the chat because remember I said I assume That it's gonna be a net. I assumed I didn't say that it was gonna be a net I assumed it was because I didn't think EA would give us an auctionable golden ticket that we could choose I was wrong EA Sports is like, yo, hold this auctionable golden ticket. So the card that you're going to get after you complete all four of the journeys is going to be auctionable. And I'm going to be showing you guys that right now. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out of that real quick. We're going to go into the set and uh, we're going to go ahead and place that into the set and uh, get our pack with any auctionable golden ticket. Now, this is what I want you guys to understand. It is a very, very... Um, it's very, very important that you guys understand this, right? When you go ahead and you get this fantasy pack, right? Whatever card you pick, just understand, like I said, you can wait it out, all right? You can go ahead and wait it out however you wanna do it, it doesn't matter. Just understand that you should be going after the most expensive card. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, I, I, yo, I've been going through this with you guys so much. Yo, Jemaya, I really like this card, I liked it. I'm not gonna argue about the card that you want. Some of you guys are telling me how good this guy was, like, really? Okay, bro, whatever. Do what you gotta do. You're a Jet fan, good stuff, man. I'm telling you again, what you're going to do, in my suggestion, I'm just suggesting it to you, all right? What you can do is you can go to the auction house, see which one of these cards are the most expensive, go ahead and take care of that, just like that, okay? Get it, sell it, have your coins ready because you're gonna need coins later in July. If they do the rookie premiere, that's gonna be transferable to Madden 21. That's all that I can suggest. If you have a player that you like and you want to put on your team, I am never going to force you to do what I'm suggesting. All I ever do for you guys is show you the way I utilize the cards, what I like about the cards and everything else. Most of you guys, you have your way of doing stuff and I love that you guys do it like that. That's fine. But I'm just letting you guys understand right now, this is about making coins. All right. Right now with the way the market is, it sucks. Everything with the cards are disgusting. You can't really do much. So for me to tell you like, yo, bro. You should do this and keep this card and it's not it doesn't have a value that doesn't make any sense to me so pretty much what i'm going to suggest right now you go into the auctions and the trades and you figure out which one is the most you know expensive right now for me there isn't really a rush because i have every golden ticket that i want and then i got the nat as bo jackson so i don't really have to rush for those of you guys that want to purchase other things and you've grinded the journey now is the time look at these prices you listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been telling you guys for a while, like, yo, the like Muhammad Sanu, that dude's garbage, bro. And a lot of you guys, yo, bro, you know, all this stuff. Oh, use the gunslinger glitch. No, I'm not doing all of that. I keep trying to tell you guys, why would I do it? Aaron Rodgers does fine for me. I tried to experiment and listen to some of your suggestions. It, bro, Aaron Rodgers is the GOAT. So I'm not concerned about all this other stuff because all I'm going to be doing right now is wasting training and coins. And I don't think that you know what I'm saying? I should be doing that right now when I don't know what it's going to cost per uh, rookie premiere when that time comes. Even though we're going to sell off our team and the prices will eventually go back up, it still doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to still focus on what's going to be coming. Don't focus right now like, oh, look, let me go ahead. You know, I really wanted that Trey Edmonds. Really? For 350 k You better go and pick a card that's going to make some sense. And now look, Josh Allen is another card that you guys are suggesting that I use. Um, and I told you guys I'm not spending the coins that he was going for now. He's at 440 So if I wanted to try him out I could but again, I'm not putting abilities on him So it doesn't really you know what I'm saying like it, it doesn't matter 
as far as you know the way that my scheme works because if I take off abilities off of Bo Jackson he's just a regular running back now I could do that all right and see what he does you know whatever because uh, when I need to run the ball whatever and then just see uh, you know zip the ball in there when it needs to go with gunslinger you know times two three four whatever but again it would take away from the dynamic of what I'm bringing out offensively because when you got to run the ball obviously having abilities on your running back is a game changer remember when we first started playing the game uh, back last year as soon as we realized the game was run based we used to have two running backs with abilities so it would be foolish for me because I run the ball now if you're a pass heavy offense that is a completely different scenario obviously that goes without saying you can go ahead and not even worry about it and remember like I told you guys for those of you guys that already have abilities on your quarterback try it you know what I'm saying like it's there for you to use it the gunslinger you know if, if the ball's coming out faster that's beautiful try it but if you don't already have abilities on your QB it does not make sense it just doesn't make sense for you to do it so right now this guy just sold for 966 let's see okay this guy's 1.09 all right um what else we got going on okay 1.25 nobody's buying this guy i don't know what's going on with julio we would have to check to see is julio really still selling um i know that taylor mays recently sold for about 1.24 um so i know he's up you know past that amount but if you guys want to make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck i would just go based on the positions and see the average prices of everything because the real-time stuff it's going to show you what's going on like this guy's at 1.31. There's going to be a lot of people that's just going to want to buy the card. And many people didn't take advantage uh, before uh, with the lower price. And they bought these golden tickets when there were a lot more coins. And now they don't have as much. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, people will come back and try to get Taylor Maze Because for him, like I said, for me, Taylor Maze is the best golden ticket like out of everybody that's there. Other than Bo Jackson on the other side of the ball, like, he's the best. Um, Calvin, with his weight and his height... As long as you user him, he's good, but he doesn't go after the ball like the other players. So I would be very, very cautious with that. If you were going to go ahead and start, you know, you know, getting Calvin and you want him to be out there all the time, just understand that he doesn't attack the way that these other players do. So that's going to be something that you may run into uh, later on. And um, it's something that you're going to probably have to deal with. But again, he's at 1.2. Uh, we just saw what uh, Taylor Mays was doing QB wise. We know that the first guy um, that we just looked at, yeah, Muhammad Sanu was garbage. Uh, Cam Newton is trash. Josh Allen's garbage. Um, Michael Vick, trash. Uh, RG3. And it, okay, so look, it looks like the, yeah. So everything is really dropped in price. Nothing is really looking really glitchy. Oh, let, let's check uh, the halfbacks. Uh, what's Bo Jackson doing? Okay, 1.15. See, Bo Jackson is always, in my opinion, going to be at least around a mil. Because he's a like he's a very very unique golden ticket with all the stuff that he gets, so he'll probably always be around the mill. But it's looking like you know we're probably gonna have to go defensively um, with the way everything is set up. Julio Jones though, what's he doing? We know Quincy's garbage. Um, Julio, one point three. Will he sell? Yeah, you'll get about a mill for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what it is? I I'm gonna hold off on actually selling my golden ticket right now because I think that that's the safest way to play it. Because the way that everything has been going, if they put out a set or something that comes up later to where it's like, now these prices inflate for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? We, I don't, I don't know if we just take the mill and run because I believe that the prices right now can only go up. Only certain positions may be, you know, altered. Like when they release Sean Taylor, obviously he's the GOAT. You know, you might say, look, bro, we got to go grab that guy, you know, Calvin, pack your bags, but we might keep both of them. You know, we, we might end up doing that. I still believe, though, that regardless, a lot of these cards, the minimum, if you just hold on to it, the minimum that's going to happen is you're going to end up getting um, at least a million coins. So because you'll be getting at least a million coins, that's going to be something that you guys should focus on. That is a very, very important um, situation that you guys should be going, you know, understanding with this concept. You, When you look at it and you understand exactly what's going on, that is very, very important that... Right, right now when you make the decision don't rush to just pick one you just you know be very very careful with it because it is a chance that these prices will go up it's a very very high chance that these prices would definitely go up so for me right now you know i'm just gonna hold on to it because it doesn't make any sense to do anything else um you know Jalen ramsey i keep telling you guys a lot of you guys are like yo man i made a mistake i'm so stupid bro no you're not stupid i'm i'm an idiot bro i bought this guy for 3.1 mil and the next day he was down to a mil now he's at 805. 
but I had to eat that because I thought at the time that his price would probably, you know, stick around that. That was my fault because, yeah, he didn't have um, Enforcer or anything like that. But I thought that people would look at it like, yo, that's the goal. You know, he's probably a better corner. I think he's way better than Mike Evans, in my opinion, regardless of the height. Uh, so we all make mistakes, but we have to learn from it. So I'm not going to rush this. And I don't think you should rush it either. Unless you've already done it and you made your mill, um, that it is what it is. Or if you don't have a golden ticket, for those of you guys that have, because I remember I asked you in a couple of videos, you know, everybody should have pulled a golden ticket by now. For those of you guys that said you did not pull a golden ticket, and you want to play with, you know, just have one on your squad, I would understand that. But I would probably go after the Nat one first by doing the other challenges and just use the Nat one to just say you have that right there. Because this we're talking about Muck coins that's going to be used later to kind of benefit you going into Madden 21 uh, once they drop the rookie premiere. So, you know, like right now we're looking, it's looking like Calvin, Taylor Mays are going to be those guys, Bo Jackson. I'm, I'm just saying, look, guys, get at least a mil. You know, Journey is, you know, it, it take, it's a lot of time. Uh, especially for you guys that didn't do the first three. Uh, for me, it took about, um, I would say, five hours to complete four. Uh, so, you know, it is however you guys determine that you want to go about it, that's fine. But like I said, I want you guys to go after the most lucrative, uh, you know, version of it. I want you guys to make the most out of it. So with that being said, I would not go ahead and open that pack yet. I would just hold off, relax, chill out, see what happens. You're not going to lose anything, in my opinion. You're going to get at least a, you're going to get at least a mil because it's still a golden ticket. All right, guys, I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Continue to be safe until next time. One love, y'all.